guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, as an over-the-top beautiful day here in paradise in Bugs in a Jar Farm, uh, where uh, it was 42 degrees last night. I'm sitting here in my sweatshirt. My toes are getting cold and my little dog is shivering as the sun begins to set over this spectacularly gorgeous night. So anyway, uh, it is it is a Sunday evening uh, somewhere around June 5th or 6th, 2022. I'm losing track, feeling more like, I don't know, late March. So anyway, guys, uh, I was going to finally uh, do this uh, finally weigh in on the school shootings, the uh, Uvalde and all the rest of that stuff, which I have been trying to avoid, but uh, that little eco pussy, Sam Mitchell over at Collapse Chronicles, stole it from me, uh, but anyway... I listened to uh, Sam Mitchell's rant over at Collapse Chronicles, and it sounded pretty good. Uh, so uh, I, I'm noticing this dude, Sam Mitchell, is, is starting to sound more and more like Hambone Littletail. Has anyone else noticed that uh, Sam Mitchell is starting to uh, sound more and more like Hambone Littletail? And that little dog that he has, uh, not nearly as cool as Sancho Panza. No, there is only one Sancho Ponza. I don't know who that little dog is, that little imposter. But anyway, so I'm not going to do that. So uh, instead, we're going to look at two stories. And, and you can try to uh, connect the dots between these two stories and, under, and try to figure out what either one of them or both of them has to do uh, with the collapse of a planet. All right, we got these badass little four by fours coming down the road. So anyway, we're gonna go listen to one of the few little lefties that I still harbor any respect for. I've never known how you pronounce Lord, now we got choppers coming over. I've never known how you pronounce M A H E R. Bill Mayer, Mar, Mar, Mar. Uh, I've never heard his name pronounced. So I've. My guess is I've actually listened to Bill, maybe about ten minutes. But I do like. Uh, his stuff on the corona panic uh you know being a lefty with a brain uh, about the corona panic so i want to say thank you bill and uh we're gonna give russell brand a hand of course deb ozarko a hand uh you know but anyway we're not gonna go into the uh corona panic uh, but there are some lefties with brains who understand the corona panic, Bill being one of them, but we're not going to talk about that. This is right here in today's mainstream media from some out on Yahoo News, from some outfit called The Wrap. Bill Maher thinks America, quote, might be empiria, empirically, verifiably, too fucking dumb to continue, close quote. Bill Mayer doubts that America can pull itself out of the heap of problems it seems to be in these days, largely due to its inhabitants, many of whom he says are, quote, intractably, astoundingly, mind-numbingly stupid, close quote. And I'm sure he would lump mask Nazis into that, but we're not, this is not a corona panic rant. We're not saying, anyway, <clears throat> moving on. 
the comedian and host jumped right to his point without mincing words on Friday night's Real Time with Bill Mayer Marr. Quote, before we tackle any of our daunting specific problems here in America, we have to figure out how a country can solve any problem if so many of its people are so intractably, astoundingly, mind-numbingly stupid. And I am not saying that is hyperbole or just out of frustration. I mean, this country just might be empirically, verifiably too fucking dumb to continue as an ongoing enterprise. There you go. To illustrate his thinking, Mayor mentioned a bit Jay Leno used to do on The Tonight Show called Jaywalking, where he asked ordinary people on the street questions that, let's be honest, they really should know the answers to, you know, common knowledge stuff, said Mayor. That bit has been, shall we say, updated and is still a useful indicator of where exactly we are on the bird brain chart. He said, showing clips of people thinking, for example, a human can walk on the sun, that Asia is the world's biggest city, or that Queen Elizabeth is from Egypt. Quote, so you tell me if a country is only as strong as its people, what can the future possibly hold for a population this moronic? This country simply has no education standards anymore. They will let you out of a public high school and give you a diploma and you don't have to actually know anything which used to be the mission of schools, knowing things. Yes. I know it's super important to stop the grooming of our kids, or I don't know, to start it. And certainly critical race theory must be stricken from the curriculum. Or, who knows, maybe included in all of it. Let you know, while we're having those fights, could someone please notice that the kids don't actually know anything? There you go. Uh, amen. Brother Bill. Uh, as I say, one of the, one of the few lefties I still harbor any respect for. Uh, okay, so we're going, you can kind of connect that dot to this one as we're looking in the anti-science. Uh, this one is a weird one where I have to say uh, uh, this anti-science, when anti-science works for the planet, when you need to disregard science to save the planet. Uh, this one just hidden away, buried in the mainstream media from Insider. <coughs> and good for them. Amen. California court rules that bees, bees, you know, honeybees, bumblebees, are a type of fish in order to protect them under the state's Endangered Species Act. There you go. Uh, all of this crap they talk about California and then they have this picture for anyone who does not know what a fish looks like. According to the California court system, that is a picture of a fish. And good for them. You know, I understand uh, getting frustrated with red tape and sometimes you have to think out of the box. I don't know if uh, 
they asked for the oldest white woman in the California court system to come up with an idea to save the fucking bees any way they can. Okay. The takeaway. Judges ruled on Tuesday that bumblebees can be classed as fish under California environmental laws. This unblocks protections for the state's four endangered bumblebee species. The ruling clarifies the state's confusing classification in its environmental protections. Okay, so what is this all about? A trio of judges in California said on Tuesday that bees, specifically bumblebees, can be legally classed as a type of fish as, as part of a ruling that brings added conservation protections for the endangered species. Uh, <clears throat> quoting from the ruling, quote, the issue presented here is whether the bumblebee, a terrestrial vertebrate, falls within the definition of a fish, close quote, and they concluded it does. There you go. Uh, can you imagine uh, these planet eaters with, with uh, uh, hitting the bullshit, <laughs> hitting the bullshit detected button, uh, all, all these goddamn real estate developers paving over bumblebee habitat, and all of these fucking uh, chemical manufacturers and big agriculture, uh, you know, poisoning fucking bumblebees. Uh, and, 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 you know, and weaseling out of it and, and having these judges uh, uh, apply these standards of protecting fish to bumblebees. Just call a bumblebee a, a fish. It, it, you know, if, if, it, uh, if it doesn't look like a fish, if it doesn't walk or swim like a fish, if it doesn't talk or buzz like a fish, it is a fish. Good for them. Hallelujah. I love anti-science. Former, formerly now, the problem for bee lovers and lovers of all California terrestrial invertebrates. Now, a fish is an aquatic vertebrate. Okay. A fish lives in the water and has a backbone. A bumblebee lives on the land and does not have a backbone. All right. So the 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 creative lawyers had to convince the judges that a terrestrial invertebrate is no different than an aquatic vertebrate. Okay. Formerly, the problem was down to the way protected animals have been, up until Tuesday, I guess, classified in the state's laws. <coughs> Although four different bee species were classified as endangered in 2018, land invertebrates are not explicitly protected under the state's Endangered Species Act, which protects endangered, quote, native species or subspecies of a bird, mammal, fish, amphibian, reptile, or plant. Okay. So, since uh, bumblebees, so I guess they had to go down and say, okay, as a bumblebee, see, I probably would have gone with the bird. Uh, at least the bird lives on land and flies. But uh, I guess they figured they went with fish. Yes. But California's Endangered Species Act Fish and Game Code, which establishes the basis on which plants and animals are expected, defines fish. This is the definition of a fish 
in California, quote, a wild fish. So they're defining fish by using the term, there's a word for when you use the word you're trying to define in the definition. Anyway, so this is, according to the state of California, a fish is, quote, a wild fish, mollusk, crustacean, invertebrate, amphibian, or part spawn or ovum of any of those animals. Close quote. There you go. Okay, so right here, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta read the technicality. Right here, the California defines fish as an invertebrate. Okay, you understand that fish are not invertebrates, but because California law defines fish as vertebrates, as invertebrates, or including invertebrates, that's all the lawyers needed. Okay, given that many of the above marine creatures are not even fish, California has been arguing ever since about whether invertebrates here, meaning living in the water, should apply to bees. Yes, and uh, so this was a case on appeal. The appeal, here we go, overturns an earlier ruling in November 2020 that was backed by major agricultural groups. There, the judge argued that, quote, invertebrates in the Fish and Game Code's fish definition, definition only applied to marine invertebrates like anemones or sea urchins, but in Tuesday's appeal, the judges argued that they are obliged to liberally interpret the uh, act's terms in order to make sure it can be effective. Okay, uh, here is the official judgment from the state of California. Quote, although the term fish is colloquially and commonly understood to refer to aquatic species, close guy the judges said, <clears throat> legislative jargon in this case could be justified in expanding the definition of fish to include bees. The judges noted that frogs are also protected under the fish section due to its inclusion of amphibians. There you go. They also argue that land-based invertebrates have been protected under the category of, quote, fish under the statute in the past, such as in 1980 when the Trinity bristle snail was protected. Uh... The judges described how California's legislator has wavered for years over whether or not to explicitly include invertebrates in the act, <clears throat> presuming, presumably saving them the trouble of having to expand the definition of fish. Yes. In one instance, back in 1985, the judges said, lawmakers reasoned it was unnecessary because, quote, invertebrates were already included in the definition of fish. <clears throat> Adding the term invertebrates in the legislation would only serve to confuse the matter. <laughs> yes. So what does Pamela Flick, Pamela Flick, California Program Director at Defenders of Wildlife, one of the groups that brought the appeal, said, quote, 
it is a great day for California bumblebees. <laughs> it is a great day for California bumblebees because they are now officially recognized as fish. But uh, I am totally in favor of this. Uh, so I don't know uh, how Bill Marrer would weigh in on uh, <laughs> all, all that story, but you better believe those uh, the, those planet eaters are, are going to be all over this one like stink on shit, uh, calling foul, so they can go right on about poisoning bumblebees and fish anyway it's getting a little chilly my toes are getting cold and the little dog is shivering shivering in the June cold so we're gonna get into a warm house and we're gonna fire up a turkey burger here in our brand new better kitchen here it bugs in a jar farm where it is coming along, guys. Are you ready to go inside and get warm? Bye, guys. Man, look at this beautiful night. You can see all the way down the road now that the planet Nibbler has been here. Uh, here's our brand new better kitchen. I'm heading in that for some turkey burgers. Bye, guys.